Oh, that's weird. Oh, this is weird. Hey, buds. It's Cheshire Wolf, and today we are playing The Night is Darkening. This is a weird little... Ah, oh, a weird little game. Before I get into it, uh, a weird little pixelated game. I don't know if it's a horror game or not, but it's got some weird, interesting visuals, and I... Uh, I'm going in pretty much completely blind, so I must admit, sir, perhaps madam, as you appear quite blurry, you can drink with the best of them. But tell me something. What brings you to these far-flung aisles of all places? Now that I'm turning down the coin, they're just tricky to navigate when you've had a few. Well, we seem to be in one piece, but the engine wasn't so fortunate. We're gonna need a new gravity stone. Oh, we crashed. And yet, yeah, it's set in floating islands. I'll go and look for one myself, but honestly, I just need to wait until I stop seeing double. I'll be right behind you. Looks like there are some angel-blessed refugees about. Don't let them cast any weird spells on you now. We're completely stranded here. If you can't find a gravity stone, at least try and find some booze. Gravity stone for the engine. Floating machinery. Okay. Okay. So, you know I love pixelated graphical styles. And this one looked like it had a really unique setting and some really interesting world building to it. And already I'm just like, oh man, I kind of love this. I, I, I high-key love this. Look at that. That's a floating nautilus. That's a floating nautilus. There's floating nautili everywhere. Oh man, that is cool. Another drifter. It's rare that folk deign to speak to the likes of us these days. Thank you, stranger. But you'll find no solace here, I'm afraid. We fled here from the Angel War, only to find this place just as bloodstained. That world building. I already, like, what is the Angel War? I'm so interested. It's a quirk of our condition that we are tuned to the echoes of the past. Misery lingers here. We were hoping for refuge in the old manor, but it is a frightful place. The mirrors show no reflections on the portraits, whisper strangely. We grow weary of wandering, my companion especially. Soon his gifts will overwhelm him, and the membrane of reality will be sundered in his mind. Safe travels, may your death come without strife. Oh, God, that's just so interesting. This whole thing is so interesting. You can see why I really wanted to play this game. Amorphous shapes writhe within the figure's clothing. Looking for a face beneath the robes, for the briefest in moments you think you see your own staring back at you. Oh... Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Oh, man, this is so cool. Look at that. Look at that guy. I don't know. Like, obviously, it's, like, super low poly. But, like, I love I love low poly things. I, I genuinely do. And I just really like settings, you know, that are really unique. And I love fantasy. And I love seeing what people can do with fantasy. And this is a really really interesting little take on world building and fantasy and I, I'm just I'm just interested to see where this goes I know it's not very long already this is giving me ideas for like my own world building that I do for like Dungeons and Dragons and stuff oh it looks like this might be the other side of that fence that I couldn't go through before so let's let's check this out. oh it's like a graveyard Statue head. Could be placed in a completely different statue for a titillating thrill. Okay, well, I'll, re I'll remember that. Who are you? You look like a nice person. Ah, a wanderer such as yourself is just what I need. I'm looking for an ancient artifact, but it's awfully muddy around here. Will you help me look for it? These are dark times, my friend. A growing evil undermines the very foundations of our society. You feel it also, do you not? I've devoted my life to the pursuit of social sublimity. I will see these lands restored to their former glory or die trying. As I said, I'm searching these islands for an artifact of the ancients. The scholars say that it could restore harmony to these troubled lands. If you find this artifact, please bring it to me. Deservedly a noble such as myself, with naught but the purest of intentions, should wield it. Okay, so you're looking for an artifact. Oh, what's down there? seeing some sort of weird oh I can't I also can't go through here so that part is blocked off for now <gasps> I'm sorry like that's a giant nautilus that is a giant floating nautilus that's so fucking cool oh man this is cool 
I love it. I love it. I love it. Cool. Well, okay, it's dark back here. Huh. Really dark back there. Weird, weird lighting thing. Can you hear it? Can you hear that? Why is it dark out here now, too? Oh, that's weird. Oh, this is weird. Oh, no. Oh, I don't trust that. I got a rusty key. And I don't usually play, like fantasy RPG type games, but I do genuinely really enjoy them. Just because I love... Oh, I can put that there. Uh, I love fantasy as a genre. That's uh, Saturn eating his child from Roman myths where the titan Saturn or Cronus ate his children. Whoa. Whoa! Okay. Big old platform here. I didn't even see this up in the sky. What? Oh, gravity stone. The mineral is completely weightless, feeling peculiar in your hands. If installed an engine, however, it can make something levitate. Okay. Oh. Who are you? Who's that? Is that... She's transparent. Is that a ghost? Hello, lady? Are you a ghost? I'm gonna go now. It's got a spooky atmosphere. And what is the angel war? Did angels fight mortals? Or what? Also, the rusty key has to be for those gates there. I might do that before giving him the stone because... I want to make sure I get to do that. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll see what happens if I give him the stone. Well, well, you actually found a gravity stone. What are the chances? I just sent you off so I could vomit in private. Stick the gravity stone in the engine. It's just behind this cabin, but be ready as we'll set off straight away. Okay, I'm not going to do that yet. I'm going to go in here and see what's behind this gate here. Let me just go unlock this gate as well while I'm at it. Ancient artifact, a device used by ancients. Although church doctrine forbids the actual use of artifacts, their scholars would pay a pretty penny to lock this in a vault somewhere. Well, I think I'm going to give it to that uh, rich dude because I feel like he knows what he's about. Gave me like uh, like paladin vibes, you know? Oh, I... I I know this is already nearly over. I just love the visual style. I would play a whole game like this. This is so cool. Hello? You found the artifact. A host of heavenly thanks upon you. You cannot know what majesty this will bring. After all that, it's rather an ugly thing when you say. The power it holds is unspeakable. Yes, yes, I know the church frowns on such acquisitions of antiquity, but they're too busy with their holy war to notice. Okay. I think that's good. I think that's good. Even if this is the ending. Oh, there we go. Well, I'll be glad to never see that for godforsaken place again. At least something good came out of it. As I found a stash, old stash of mushroom wine I'd <laughs> forgotten about. Say, I was meaning to ask you. What was your name again? Uh, uh, che Cheshire? Cheshire? My name is Cheshire? Oh, damn, we're already heading out. That's so cool. I kind of want to play it again from the start just to see the crash, because I was talking to him before the crash happened, so... Oh, man, that was the end! Oh jeez. I just want to see what happens with the initial crash. Oh, 
there it comes. Okay. Okay. God, I wish I know this game is gonna be like a fucking seven minute video, but it's so cool. It's genuinely so cool. And I love little projects like that. I know it's kind of weird to make a little short video on this, but like, ah, man, I just love it. I love it. I love games like this. I want there to be a million more. I want games like this to be longer. I wish I could like pay like thousands of dollars to the developers of games like this just to give them the funds they need to make an actual full length game like this because that would be so cool. I want to know what the Angel War is. I want to see more of this world building. I want to see more of the the giant flying Nautilus things. Where are they? I, I need to see my little boy again. Oh, it's so cool. It's so cool. It's so, I just love floating islands. Okay, I'm going to stop talking about how cool it is. This is a great game. If you want to play it yourself, link will be in the description. Appreciate all of you watching. If you uh, feel like it, consider leaving a like, commenting, or even subscribing to my channel because it would do my little heart so good. I'll see you next time. And until next time, why don't you think about world building and about what things make a really good setting and a really good story. I'll see you next time. Ch Ching.